all of you, Icky Yucky boys. Figure that there's still a few hours left of the evening, and we're like, uh, should we go head to bed or not? And we're like, no, let's come out to the pool because why not? Not visible there on the camera, but. It's almost like you can see some stars out there. It's marginally cloudy, almost a clear sky. And it's pretty much plus 20 degrees still here outside. And it's... So yeah, it's one of those moments where you have like uh, good times, bad drinks, good company with the wife over there. And yeah, I'm just enjoying it. Uh, in addition to all the things right here and now, full temperature is over 28 degrees. Uh, or at least what Julia just told me. Um, uh, we've had a good trip this far, it's been a great travel. Uh, there's been a few days which obviously could have been more sunny, but then again I'm not the kind of person who enjoys here just uh, laying and sunbathing, so I don't know. It wouldn't have made my travel anyhow different, perhaps for you it would, but anyway. Uh, we've had great food, enjoyed our time with my brother who lives over here, and uh, it was actually the main reason we we're over here visiting. And uh, yeah, being here, uh, it feels just so good and it, it kind of levels out the stress from during the Christmas holidays, during which I, uh, within, uh, I think it was like four or five days, worked some, something over 70, 70 work hours at the ER, which, yeah, it was insane. And again, in my usual manners, I would be very focused on that we're heading home in just a few days, uh, but instead, Looking at all of this from today's perspective, I'm just gonna be really grateful and happy for that we actually have this time here exactly now and we are able to enjoy this moment as it is. And now breaking apart from the usual serious me, the way I heard this story, which I'm not gonna bother fact-checking now before telling you guys, uh, as the nights here might get cold during winter, you know that there are these uh, iguanas, and especially when it gets cold enough, they kind of uh, freeze and go into a kind of hibernation, and uh, the thing is, if the weather's cold, they just do it wherever they happen to be at that point. Uh, and unless you're familiar with that, that they actually kind of uh, freeze in a way, uh, you would mistake easily that they're dead. So obviously that's where Florida man comes into the picture. So this guy here in Florida, so he went out somewhere and uh, picked up, I, I, don't, I can't recall from my head, was it 20 or 30 or 40, but something close to that of those iguanas, which he presumed were dead. I put them in his car, went driving down a local large highway here, <laughs> and then suddenly, obviously as the car heating is going up, they uh, kind of were warming up, and obviously all of them then came to life within, inside of his car. <laughs> And they managed to drive off the road <laughs> and get into an accident that way. <laughs> so imagine the thing that you're like pulling up, you're seeing a car there that's uh, there in the ditch, and then you see Florida man there behind the steering wheel, <laughs> and uh, a car full with 10 or 20 or 30 iguanas, and <laughs> it's just gonna be a total mess. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> yep, Florida doesn't surprise you at all. <laughs> How that story anyhow relates to anything about being grateful for being here, that, to that I have no answer to that question. Anyway, I'm in a good mood, I just wanted to share it here before I sound out. So now I'm just gonna put the camera away, continue enjoying the moment here. Hope you enjoyed this uh, short form of talk or vlog or whatever philo philosophical masterpiece this turned out to be. So if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't, just so you don't miss out on a future junk I post here. And thanks for running fences with me today, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!